Okay, in this video I want to solve a few worded problems. In this video we're not going to learn anything new, but it's just designed to help people improve the problem solving skills. So example one is that Anna took four maths tests and she got these results. I want to find the total. Right, so we just add these up. 7, 14, 20, 10, 18, 25, carry the 2, 7, 270. Here's what answer. Then the next problem here, yeah, these people are playing dots. I want to find out the differences between all the scores. So first we'll start off with the one that I would say is the easiest. We can't do that, so we'll borrow. That's 9, that's 1, so that's 19. Next one. That will kind of do, so I'll borrow. So I've got 0 there. I've got 11 there, that's 7. This one I can do, so I'll borrow. I've got 0 there. Now I've got 10 there, so that's 17. And the last one... I can do that, so I'll borrow. Six, bubble again. Um, three, thirty six. There we go, that's thirty six. Now, this problem has to find the product of these two numbers. Now, once it says to find the product of two numbers, it means we'll multiply. And remember I showed two different methods for this. I'm going to choose this method to do, but you could also do it the other method that I showed you last time, if you want to do. It's just that I'm going to do it this method for, for now. So multiply all of these. 18, 9, 36, and 18. So we'll get 8, we we'll get 10, 16, carry the 1, 2, 2268. Right. Now, next one, one, it says that these people won the lottery. And want an equal amount each. So what we'll do is we need to divide this amount here by 5. Right? 5 doesn't go into 2, so we'll move along to 24. 4 5's go into 24, remainder 4. 5's into 40, 8. And five's into zero, zero, four hundred and eighty is what I'm saying. Okay. And now I just want to do one more problem that's quite complicated just to really get people going in this. And it'll really help improve your problem solving skills. And the problem is this. Um, a bus company has 12 48 seater buses. Right, and want, first of all, we want to work out how many people it could carry. So, we do 12 times 48. So, we do it the same way that I did before. 
This is just the first part of the question. I'll give you another part in a minute. Again, you could also use the other method for this. But I'm going to do it this way. That's 6, 17, 5, 576 is one. So I read it that way. Okay. Right. Okay. So the next problem says that the se seven of the coaches are carrying 39 people and that the other five have 11 empty seats. How many people are they carrying all together? So if seven are carrying 39 of the times these again you could always do this whichever method you want I'm going to do it this way Get three, get three, get three. Is that right? That's three. Six and seven is three. How are you one? Three. Three hundred and thirty three. Now, if each of the other buses has got eleven empty seats. Each bus carries 48, so that means each bus will be carrying 48 minus 11 people, which is 37. Okay, then we'll work out 5 times 37. Which we could also do whichever way we want. 5, 8, 1. That's not the right answer, actually. That's the wrong answer. The real answer should be 468. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere there, but that is the way we do it, okay? And the real answer is this. Okay, that's wrong. I've obviously made one little mistake somewhere in my arithmetic, okay? And I'll, um... Maybe go through this one particular problem again in my next video. Okay? Yes.